Hi, I'm Molly Baker, and I've spent the past three years working, collaborating, and building a team of consultants remotely. While there's been a lot of highs, like celebrating that first year and our team of one turning into a team of seven, there's also been some lows, like forgetting to go on mute and fighting the urge to wear sweatpants every day. Here are a few things I've learned from working remotely over the past few years. I tried to spice this up a bit with some pictures, so bear with me as we flip through. First impressions really matter. Without in-person body language and energy to go off of, how you greet someone sets the tone for your entire interaction. Collaboration also takes a lot of planning. Create a plan for each month, week, day, and even meeting that you're in. This will give you the chance to hold you and your team accountable for the work that actually needs to get done. I do believe that coffee is a true gift. Take the time to appreciate the little things in life that bring you joy on a day-to-day -day basis. It's also important to create space. Zoom fatigue is real. Fatigue about Zoom fatigue is real at this point. Trust your team enough to take a time out every now and then to give them the space to do some real creative thinking. It's also important to get outside. Make an effort to create some time away from your home turned office turned restaurant. A change of scenery is a beautiful thing. While evolving our EQ is a journey and probably always will be one, it's important to strengthen your empathetic communication skills. This will help you to create stronger relationships. How can we really develop trust amongst our remote teams without really listening to our clients and employees? At the end of the day, I will never regret spending good money on a bookkeeper, an accountant, and a laptop charger. You have to know what you're good at and what you're not. I also think it's important to like what you do. I truly love data-driven marketing. It gives us objective-based signals to understand how to best connect and communicate with people, a true mix of art and science. The fact that I get to do this with different consumers and clients around the world makes it that much more valuable to me. However, it's also good to acknowledge your weaknesses. I am horrible at trivia. While I love data, my knowledge of random facts is absolute trash. But at the end of the day, failure and being uncomfortable are the two biggest opportunities for growth. So don't forget to fail fast and it's okay to drink too much coffee.